Oh, well, he'll start. Oh, I haven't done my knees for a while. Oh, get going, get going. Well, I hope you're all enjoying the uh, the nice weather we've been having here in the UK. Uh, there's a bit of a wet patch there on the road, but I think there's been a, a problem with uh, a mains water pipe or something. Yeah. I thought I might just do a little, little vlog today. I'm not quite sure what's going to happen. Oh, this is a horrible junction here. Oh look, we've got a train coming. Uh, I suppose I've got to stop. There we go. And here comes the train. Go. Let's get right across. Okay, I'm going to join the main A33. Oh, this is going to be exciting. I haven't really been on this road, so here goes. You find that some cars, you know, you know, you, you're at a, a roundabout or something, and you're going round. Minding your own business, and they creep, they creep like this towards you. You think, uh, especially when you've got stones on the roundabout or you've got water on the roundabout, and you're trying to sort of like go, oh my god, oh, I don't know what they like this, then they don't understand, do they? I just don't understand the implications of a roundabout when it's wet or it's got gravel. Um, while I'm up behind this Wix van, I can talk a bit about things. Um, I was following a tractor the other day. I was going to work, as usual. And um, it was not a tractor, it was a digger really. It had something in his little box thing. And um, I was up behind it and all this stones and stuff, mud were coming off the tyres and I think some of it, most of it was coming out of the basket in front and uh, I thought oh, I'm going to avoid these stones, do you know what I mean? And the car behind me didn't really appreciate me trying to dodge the stones. I mean I wasn't going all across the lake but I was trying to do my best to avoid them. And they don't understand do they? They don't understand. You know, it's just like... Oh. I mean, my opinion with car drivers other road users they should do a CBT before they can even get into a car so ride around on the 125 then go into a car and see how you feel oh dear so we take this lot and have a laugh Renault behind me wants to go into the other lane, so I'll stay with the Sainsbury's lorry. <laughs> yes, yeah, so I've got a squeaky back brake, break. and um, it's not bothering me at all. Look at that Bentley. I think it's shit. Because white just hurt, white just shows all the dirt up. And the size of those, well, he's, he's scrubbed his wheels a bit, those rims. Hmm. Oh, I can't do it now. 
That's good. No one heard Sainsbury's. That's it. You notice I did my lifesaver check before I went back in. Should be doing one now, should be doing one there. So it's just, I find it's really difficult on a motorbike, you know, to get the practice and, you know, and, yeah, to, 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 to ride properly. Oh, I'm on this soft, really soft tarmac. It's giving me the heebie jeebies. Um, yeah, when you're, when you're learning to drive in a car, you've got someone there to talk to you and tell you what you're doing wrong and how to do this and, and all this sort of stuff. But then you've got the, the two way radio on the bikes when you do your, t you know, when you're doing your lessons. But you're on your own, you know, you're sort of like, ooh, I can just do what I like. <laughs> You've got no one to stop you. And I think it's really strange because you you can develop lots of bad habits. You know, when you're out on your own riding around like I do. Because you're not accompanied. Accompanied? Accompanied. No. Accompanied. Oh, you get the picture. You know, you're 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 whoop, you're your own boss, sort of thing. So all these bad habits I'm picking up is because of my riding and my sort of temperament. I've got no one really to sort of say, well, you shouldn't be doing that, chips. You should be doing this. Oh, okay. Where are you going?